Hola veggie lovers, I'm Amelia, and JP is behind the camera. Hola! <laughs> Welcome to Lot of Veg, our plant-based cooking channel. Today I am going to show you how to make my rich, delicious, and chocolatey beet brownies. If you're joining us from our other channel, Amelia and JP, our unconventional life in Ecuador, Hola Unconventionals! If you're new to our cooking channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to learn how to make easy, delicious recipes that are mood enhancing as well, like this one that I'm about to share with you right now. Here's the beets, our main ingredient. This is one large and one small beet. The recipe calls for two medium or three small beets. You don't need to stress about it. Do the best you can. It doesn't have to be precise or exact. But what you do need to do is boil these or pressure cook them and peel them before you put them in your food processor because we're going to puree them for our recipe. So, right now I'm gonna cut these up into a little bit smaller pieces to put in my food processor. I love beets, those look delicious. They smell amazing, JP. All right. So I just took the lid off to check the beets and they are not quite pureed enough. So you may need to add a tablespoon of water just to make sure you get enough moisture and get the beets pureed a little more finely, I guess. Is finely the right word? I I'm not sure. So. That works for me. <laughs> All right. I am gonna scrape down the sides. I added a tablespoon of water. Let's make sure. These get pureed nicely. Thank you, let's check it out. Oh yeah, that looks much better. See how much finer the puree is. Oh, that looks delicious. I know, it smells so good. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside because the next step is to combine all of our dry ingredients. All right, on to step two, dry ingredients. I'm gonna start with a cup and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, white flour, one half a cup of cocoa powder, which also smells delicious. Yep, it does. I love cocoa powder. Oh my gosh, I know, the chocolate in Ecuador is amazing. Okay, in this little dish, I have a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir all this up. Now it's time to add in the wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. One half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. You can use any of your favorite non-dairy milk. I'm only using a half a cup of agave in my recipe because I don't like it quite as sweet. The original recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of agave or maple syrup. I'm also using agave because maple syrup is really expensive and hard to come by in Ecuador, but you certainly can use that. If you do decide to cut the amount of sweetener, then you may need to add a little bit more liquid. And a good tip is to reserve a little bit of your beet water and you can add that into your batter to make it even extra delicious. So in it goes. And I'm upgraded to a spoon. <laughs> it would be a little tricky to do this with a fork. And then lastly, I have a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Whoops, I'm really good about getting cocoa powder all over the place, which is why I never try to bake with cocoa powder in light color clothing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need, I think, a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of the beet water to start. If I need more, I can always add more. But remember, you have moisture in your beets too. You don't wanna add in too much liquid off the bat. I am still adjusting because I'm so used to cooking in altitude. I moved to Colorado in 92, and then living in Cuenca, that was even higher altitude, and now we're at sea level, so I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna turn out at sea level, but <laughs> fingers crossed, it'll be good. Lastly, we want to add in our beets. It's gonna be very pretty. I love the color. I know. I do prefer maple syrup in this too. Yeah, I would agree with that, but hey, beggars can be choosers. So agave works just fine yeah. for a fraction of the cost here in Ecuador. Blend this all in. Oh, this is looking really good. Yummy. Yeah, this looks perfect. There's plenty of moisture, so I don't need to add any more since I added a little bit of water to my beets when I was doing the puree, the pureeing step. Another thing you can do if you wanna make this even more chocolatey, I do this every once in a while, is add in a half a cup of chocolate chips. Oh, I love it when you do that. Would you like me to do that, Jason? Yes, let's do that. All right, let me grab them. I'm actually just gonna guesstimate this. Yummy, hello lovelies. Mm. Maybe a little bit more. That was not a half a cup. Let's start with that and see 
That was more like a quarter of a cup. Oh yeah, we need more. More. <laughs> Mas <laughs> chocolate. Yes. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yum. <laughs> All right, well, this is looking really good, JP. Agree, please. Okay, I realized when I started this, I forgot to grease my baking sheet. If you want to make this completely oil-free, you need to use a nonstick baking dish, but I do not have one. So what I do to cut the oil down to a minimum is I just put a little oil on a paper towel and spread it around that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. What is that in Celsius? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess I better find out because our oven is in Celsius. <laughs> Good question. Here's my trick. A little oil goes a really long way. Although I might use a tiny bit more than that. I wouldn't if we weren't filming this. <laughs> but I want them to come out of the pan. <laughs> All right. That is done. Put this out of the way. What do you think that is? Like a quarter teaspoon of oil? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. I can't even see that it's on there. Just enough to, just a light, light coating. I suppose you could use nonstick cooking spray too. I don't know if we can even get that here. I haven't seen it. I haven't really gone out of my way to Oh, we saw it in a Super Maxi. Yeah, that's true, in Cuenca. In Cuenca. I don't know. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour our batter into our pan. This is one of my favorite recipes and I don't make it very often. Because I can't control myself? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> she makes this delicious food and then she tells me I can't have any. I don't say you can't have any. I just would like you to pace yourself. <laughs> Life is too short to pace yourself with brownies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. We have preheat. <laughs> So JP looked it up, 350 Celsius, no, 350 Fahrenheit is 175 Celsius. All right, let's put it in. Yes. Looks so pretty. Mm. Right. Is it done yet? <laughs> Patience, my love. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 22 minutes. Like I said, I'm learning this new oven, so I'm gonna pull these out now and check them. It smells amazing. Uh, I'm going with my camera. <laughs> they look perfect. Wow. Can I have one? I would recommend waiting until they cool a little bit. Oh. Let me test this. You're always saying no to me. Oh, listen to you. <laughs> um. Is it done or they need a little bit longer? I'm thinking maybe a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. Is it ready this time? I think so. Yep, they look great. Wow. I know. Chocolate chips are still relatively intact. Oh, I can't wait to try these, but we do need to let them cool for a few minutes, otherwise I think they're gonna be a bit of a mess. I'm ready to try these. They've cooled enough, JP. I think it's time to cut them and take a bite. Yeah, I'm ready to taste them. <laughs> I will put a link to the recipe on our website, lotofveg.com, in the description below. So go check that out if you want to make these easy, gooey chocolate brownies. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. All right, I'm ready. ready. Look at these. Oh, They're still a delish. little warm, which is awesome. All right, which one's mine? Whichever one you want. <laughs> All right. Wait for Wait Rachel. Rachel. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God, they're so good. They're mm. so gooey and delicious. Mm. All right, Amelia, what are you mm. gonna cook next? Mm. I don't know, right now I can only think about brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the beet burgers, I'm on a beet roll. <laughs> more beets. More beets, more please. Pur more purple food? Yes, very mood enhancing food. All right, let's, all right. let's finish these up. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you all later. All right, ciao. ciao.